Well, Robert, you know, I was driving by on a golf cart. I saw the front end of this car. I said, stop. <laughs> what is that? And I, I have never seen this car before. It's a Carmen Ghia, right? Right. This is Carmen Ghia, also called Racer Edge. Racer Edge. And, and, and it's type, type 34. What year is it? In 1964. 64. This is not what I think of when I think of a Carmen Ghia. Right. I mean, I, and in fact, I thought there was only one body style for Carmen Ghia. Apparently not. Apparently not. <laughs> and it's, a, it's a, a Carmen Ghia made for the European market only. Oh, was it ever imported? The, never, never oh, imported to the U.S. That explains it. Now, the racers, racer edge, where does that term come from? It's the, the front. The front is like a, a racer, you see? Oh, okay. Yeah, and yeah. And it's called racer edge. It's just such a wild looking, you know, at, at first, and I, I didn't really see the bottom part. I, I saw the lines and I almost thought it was a BMW. Uh -huh. I, I couldn't figure out what it was. Was it a 2002 or is it, you know, but then I, the more I looked at it, yeah, again, I was just I was baffled. I saw the VW on it. Now it's obviously been restored. Right. Where did you find it? I found it in Florida. Oh, I found okay. it in Florida, and uh, it was in really nice condition. Oh, but good. but the color wasn't the, the the right one, the correct one. What, it what wasn't color was it? Cream, like a beige. Uh huh. And the the original color is this one. What, like, is, what do like, they call that? It's it's like a it's kind of blue sky, green, blue sky green, blue or, or something like that. But that, this is the original color. And uh, I took it to a friend of mine, Armando Body Shop, and they, he did all the work, all the body shop. How all long the did it work. take? A year. Wow. Just a year. It's, wow. it's, it's amazing. Just a year. Nice, and it's nice workmanship too, because the lines on this are all very straight, and there's there's actually a lot of character lines in this car. Correct. You Correct. know the the ones that come around here, that little kick up at the back. Right. And I, I love your roof rack. Mm -hmm. Was that a dealer option? Uh, it's it's a, a guy in California that made it. Oh. Wow. And it's a dealer option too. Well, and also makes it more you you know you, more usable. Now this is, of course, being a Carmen Ghia, this is the trunk. Right. Correct. Right? Yeah. The 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 interior, though, I think is really neat. Would it have been two tone like that to begin with? Yes, it's uh, it's always like that, two tone, and uh, it's the original interior. Uh huh. And uh, it's the original everything. It's a matching number car. Yeah, transmission, wow. chassis, and engine. The whole thing. I love the push buttons over there. What, right. The, the that's, wiper. And that's the wiper, the, the, the wiper. lights, and, <laughs> uh, and the washer. And that's the little droplets, right? Or the right, washer. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> well, even the, you know, the gauges, you know, for a Volkswagen product, they're pretty fancy. Right. You know, the little gold centers right. and everything. I mean, this must have been an expensive car. It is an expensive car for, for the time that, that was made, and it was to compete with the 356 Porsche. Really? Really. Wow. And, and, uh, and you know that there are only about 3,000 left in the world. Is that right? Now, that, that little basket was also a dealer option, your trade? Right, your... correct, an accessory. Oh, I love that. I just think, and you know, um, Really, the profile of this car is almost, and especially back here, is almost early Corvair. Right, right. Uh, it's, 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 some people don't know about this Carmen Ghia and always tell me, this is a Corvair? <laughs> and not, this is a Volkswagen. It's the coolest looking Corvair I ever saw. <laughs> <laughs> well, so let's have a look at the engine, which, right. is, which is, of course, back here. Correct. Or not. Okay. <laughs> where, where is it? <laughs> it's back here. Right here. Oh, okay. So you even have a little bit of a trunk back here. Uh huh. Is that a dual carb? It's a dual carburetor. It's a 1500 Sport, which is, means that it's a dual carburetor. Uh huh. And how does she how does she ride? Very soft, very smooth, very, very, very. The the suspension is unique. I mean, it's a very soft car. And does it hold the road pretty well? Very well. Very well. Wow. Well, close her up. I. I, I I love it. I'm, I'm surprised that uh, you know it's still thinned here, even though it's a solid compartment. Mm -hmm. I mean, do these actually do anything? Well, it's, it's also uh, used as a trunk because yeah. you can you can you know put some some small things over there. These even look Porsche. Yeah, that's that's the same use in the 356 Porsche. In the same. <laughs> well, Robert, I this is the wildest looking car, and again, even even here on the roof line, it's a little. It's very German. It's very almost BMW again, mm -hmm. but I think this is the coolest Carmen Ghia I have ever seen. I, I first one I ever saw. Thank you, Dennis. <laughs> I'm very honored. Beautiful car, Robert. Very honored. 64 Carmen Ghia. Thank you. Thank you.